Used Mercedes-Benz EQBs are now below $30,000. Hey EV lovers! Welcome to EVpedia, your ultimate hub for electric vehicles. If you're as excited about EVs as we are, hit that subscribe button, give us a like, and drop a comment below. And if you want to help us bring even more amazing content, consider giving us a super thanks. The Mercedes-Benz EQB isn't a bad car. It just costs way too much money brand new. But used ones are a screaming deal now. The Mercedes-Benz EQB is not a particularly great electric car to buy new. Yes, is they still make it. A base 2024 EQB 250 Plus starts at $53,050, offering a front-wheel drive powertrain and an okay range of 251 miles. If you want a dual-motor model with some decent options, you'll easily encroach upon the $60,000 range. But here's the deal. The Mercedes-Benz EQB isn't a bad car. It just costs way too much money brand new. But you can always opt for a used one. And used EQBs are far more affordable. There are now numerous EQBs listed for sale below the $30,000 mark. And some of these used ones have just several thousand miles on the odometer. Compared to original prices starting at around $55,000, we're seeing a roughly $25,000 drop in price. In some cases, these cars weren't even registered for a full year, meaning they'll come with three years of basic warranty. The EQB was already depreciating a good bit, mainly due to the not-so-great specs for the steep price. But also, Hertz is offloading a bunch of former rental units. While some buyers may be concerned about buying an ex-rental, the prices paired with the substantial remaining warranties are noteworthy. One example is a 2023 EQB 250 Plus listed for $29,900. While it is a former rental, it was registered in October 2023 and is just 5,200 miles on the odometer. Based on the Carfax report, it'll have 37 months or 44,800 miles left for the basic warranty. Assuming this vehicle doesn't have any added options, a lot of Hertz vehicles don't come well equipped. This car is already down 44.5% in value. This is bad for the first buyer but great for the used customer. For those who don't want to form a rental, there are still some great options. One California-based Mercedes-Benz dealer had a certified pre-owned 2022 EQB 354 Matic listed recently for $30,999. This one has just 8,600 miles on the odometer along with 44 months of unlimited mileage bumper-to-bumper -bumper warranty left, thanks to the CPO warranty. In other words, in less than 10,000 miles, the second buyer can save 48.5% when compared to the original $60,200 sticker. Based on these prices, used is definitely the way to go with the EQB. But should you go ahead and buy one? And if you do, is there anything you should consider? The Mercedes-Benz EQB. Tech Specs. The EQB first hit the U.S. market as a 2022 model year. The electric crossover utilizes the MFA platform, which can accommodate both internal combustion and electric flavors. For the electric options, it also powers the EQA, though it is only available overseas. For North Americans looking for the least expensive Mercedes electric product, the EQB is it. The EQB is a mid-size crossover that comes in at 184.4 inches, roughly the same length as the Kia EV6, 184.3 inches. It offers a 70.5 kilowatt-hour battery pack, of which 66.5 is usable. This results in 245 miles of range for the front-wheel drive models, and 221 or 232 miles for the all-wheel drive ones. For 2024, range got boosted slightly on the FWD model, but it's down to 205 for the EQB 300 and 207 for the EQB 350, respectively. The EQB's battery pack can accept a maximum of 100 kilowatts on a DC fast charger. This isn't particularly notable, but its real-world performance is genuinely impressive thanks to a flat charging curve. An independent test revealed an average of 93.8 kilowatts from 10 to 80 percent. Fascinatingly, a Tesla Model Y long range, 250 kilowatts peak, only averaged 99.1 kilowatts from 10 to 80 percent in another third-party test. In other words, the EQB's 100 kilowatts peak rating is very conservative. Still, the EQB is heavy. The base EQB 250 plus weighs in at a plump 4,497 pounds, which is hefty for an EV of its footprint. The 300 comes in at 4,630 pounds, and the 350 tips the scale at 4,718. For reference, the Model Y long-range all-wheel drive weighs 4,398 pounds, less than even the front-wheel drive EQB. Not only does the Y have a larger battery with more range, but it's larger, faster, and more spacious. Trims and Equipment All 2023 EQB models come with a choice of three trims, Premium, Exclusive, and Pinnacle. 
The premium trim comes as standard and offers a decent array of features. It comes with remote cabin preconditioning, power folding mirrors, ambient lighting, aluminum roof rails, leather steering wheel, Apple CarPlay, and Android Auto functionality, and a power tailgate. Safety features are limited blind spot monitoring, forward collision warning, and automatic emergency braking. Adaptive cruise control, lane centering, and other safety features all cost extra. Upgrade to the exclusive version for $1,250, and it comes a 10-speaker and 225-watt advanced sound system, hands-free tailgate opening, and wireless phone charging. The $3,800 Pinnacle package comes with everything in the exclusive plus 12-speaker and 590-watt Burmester sound system, sunroof, and a surround-view camera. Mercedes also offers a $1,250 option to get third-row seats, making it the smallest three-row electric crossover for sale. Drivers wanting features such as heated seats, adaptive cruise control, and lane centering must pay for those separately. When browsing used options, it's best to locate the vehicle's original window sticker to confirm it has all the desired options. For the 2024 model year, Mercedes eliminated all trims aside from the Pinnacle. It lowered the upgrade price to $2,800 as opposed to $3,800, but now requires the sunroof to be sold separately for $1,500. For those who crave more options, it's best to look at 2022 model years. These were only shipped in exclusive or pinnacle guys. Many of the externals for sale are base premium options, so you'll miss out on all the goodies from the higher spec ones. Any areas of concern? While the EQB is still a relatively new car on the market, there have been some issues reported with the car. Some owners report issues related to the coolant system monitor and the vehicle throwing random codes like high voltage battery malfunction. Simply put, it's a relatively new vehicle made by a company that isn't particularly best known for reliability. If you're craving something more reliable, something tried and tested like the Tesla Model Y will be more comforting. But if three years of warranty is sufficient with you, at least there's a safety net there in case things do go awry. Should I buy one? Used Mercedes EQBs have already come down in value substantially. Compared to the new price, buying used is clearly the way to go with the EQB. But who's to say how much more these cars will depreciate? Heck. The once six-figure EQS products are now easily attainable for around $45,000. But used EQBs aren't the only solid deal floating around. One of the most notable is the Volvo C40 Recharge, which actually sells for less secondhand than the EQB. It offers similar range and slightly reduced charging capabilities, but offers far better performance with a sharper design. There are some other good used electric crossovers available in the same price range as well. The Kia EV6, Hyundai Ioniq 5, and Ford Mustang Mach-E are just a few cool options that have also come down in value substantially. But for those who want the Mercedes badge and build, the EQB is not a bad choice. Especially for $30,000, you're looking at the same price point as a new base spec Ford Bronco Sport. You're still getting decent range, good charging, and a nicely appointed interior. And best of all, you won't be the one who lost around $25,000 in the first year. Andrew Lambrecht is a contributor at Inside DVs and an industrial engineering student at Clemson University. In addition to Inside DVs, Andrew writes for Forbes Wheels and Business Insider, covering the transportation sector.